They're too powerful. Yeah, we'll just keep plugging away. I was trying to out outbid each other and actually using their names against each other. In April 2010, the UK sales of supermarket giant Tesco's alone amounted to £42 billion. This is the equivalent of £1 in every seven spent in retail on these shores. In this documentary, we will be looking at whether major supermarkets are having an effect on local businesses. I think with regards to local economy, if Tesco's are going to be opening about 20 stores a month, I think that's going to be quite difficult for local businesses because they have much bigger and larger buying and spending powers. I think that larger supermarkets probably do have negative effects on uh, local markets. Waitrose do give back to the community and I think other, other supermarkets have the, you know, the need to do the same thing. Uh, I think there's no way around it really. I think people do choose to go to them over the local supermarkets because, of a, because it's easier. For small businesses like local markets, local corner shops, it's going to have a really big impact on their, their, their livelihoods. This store's been here probably 50 years with the, uh, the other boat, I'm in Fitzpatrick. He used to live in the street of beer. He started on this market when he was 14 years of age. There used to be about 30 fruit and veg traders and now there's four, so that says it all for itself, really. Over the years, supermarket giants Asda, Tesco's, Sainsbury's and Morrison's have been competing fiercely with each other in a battle to become the cheapest supermarket in the UK. But in doing this, are they wiping out local businesses? I, I like it, I like Tesco's. Asda is one of the same as Tesco, just because the price is cheap. Yeah, everything in one place, uh, and the prices are usually pretty competitive as well. We've tried everything for years, you know, we've got exotic fruits and things, you know, and Tesco's are selling all of them, and um, they sell stuff for less than they're paying for them, just to bring people into their shops, which is not right. Yeah, those are the ones who are struggling as well, yeah, they are, those are the, the small shops are struggling as well, yes, yeah, it's, it's true. In the next 10 years, the Giants have plans to expand an extra 18 million square feet of land. We wanted to find out if statistics like this are affecting local businesses. They do quite heavily, yeah, especially with all the advertising power and everything. So it does affect us. We might have one open around the corner as well, a Tesco's, and it does with the prices because we just can't compete. Which is a shame because we all need little shops and market trainers, but it's difficult with all the Tesco's and Sainsbury's. So we just keep plugging away. So, but. I mean, it's always on the TV, the price comparisons and. Um, I was trying to out outbid each other and actually using their names against each other. I've noticed this they didn't used to do, but they started, you know, comparing their prices against Tesco, against Asda and Morrison's. Were you worried about the new Tesco being built? The one at Abington Street. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna have an effect on the business. It'll have an effect on every shop in town, especially the small ones, news agents, uh, us, anybody like that. It will affect everyone. Although the Giants are affecting small businesses, some supermarkets are doing their bit to help the community. As a company, Waitrose support um, local communities in lots of different ways. Uh, the first one probably, the most important, is Community Matters Scheme, uh, which is where every uh, supermarket, every Waitrose supermarket donates £1,000 to charity every month. And they're all local charities, it can't be anything that's a big brand. Um, and you know, here we do things like um, local... Uh, charities raising money for illnesses, uh, schools, uh, football teams, that kind of thing. Um, so, you know, every branch, we've got 240 branches, so 240 branches donating £1,000 a month to the local community is quite important. Um, another thing we do here is use a lot of local suppliers. Um, so here we've got um, some beers, some ales, uh, oils, uh, ice cream, hams, uh, that we all come from local uh, suppliers, so we're kind of supporting local suppliers at the same time because I know that you know, larger supermarkets do take away from the local community as well. So it's clear that supermarkets are having noticeable effects on local businesses, but with 24-hour shopping, thousands of new jobs and home delivery, this isn't all such a bad thing in today's economy. For convenience sake, we usually do one big shop a week in the supermarkets. You know, your Tesco's and your Asda's and stock, they don't just stock food, they stock clothes, they stock everything. Um, so you can go and do your whole shop, you can go to one place and get everything you needed, whereas if you went to a local kind of corner shop, you could get a few groceries, but then you'd have to end up going 
to a lot of other places as well, so it just means the journey's a bit longer. A big decline, yeah. It's becoming a waste of time even bothering. We can only blame ourselves for craving convenient, high quality and cheap products from a name we can trust, which is unfortunately why local businesses are feeling the pressure. I don't know any of the trades, well, and the supermarkets are putting us out of business.